Hello friends, I am Shamshuddin. I welcome you financial accounting classes. In this class, I am going to prepare bills receivable account and total debtors account to find out total sales. Let us read the problem. Ascertain total sales from the following particulars. Details are given. Debtors as on 1-1-2010, rupees 30,000. Debtors as on 31st 12, 2010, it is 45,000. Bills received as on 31st 1, 2010, rupees 15,000. Bills receivable as on 31st 12, 2010, it is 18,000. Cash received from debtors, rupees 75,000. Cash received against bills receivable, rupees 22,500. Bills receivable dishonored rupees thousand five hundred, bad debts rupees seven fifty, discount allowed to debtors rupees seven fifty, sales returns rupees three thousand, reserve for doubtful debts rupees two thousand. Based on these details, let us prepare bills receivable account and debtors account. The important point in this problem is reserve for doubtful debts. It must not be considered while preparing debtors and bills receivable account because it is a provision which is created this year. Based on these details, we have to calculate total sales made during the year. Let us solve this problem. In this problem, we have to calculate total sales. Total sales can be calculated by preparing total bills receivable account and total debtors account. Let us solve this problem based on the details given. Debtors as on 1-1-2010, it is given 30,000. It is opening balance. Two balance brought down. It is 30,000. So, 30,000 opening debtors is given. And debtors on 31st 12, 2010. I'll write here by, by balance, by balance carried on. The amount is given 45,000. 45,000 amount is given that I have taken. Next, there is a bills receivable as on 1-1-2010. It means that it is the opening balance. Bills receivable is an asset to the business. The opening balance always shows debit. Bills receivable account is rupees 15,000. I will take 15,000. And bills receivable as on 31st 12, 2010 is rupees 18,000. It is a closing balance by balance carried down. Amount is rupees 18,000. This is a 18,000 closing balance. And cash received from debtors is given in this problem rupees 75,000. Whenever the cash received from the debtors, it must be credited to the debtors account by cash or bank rupees 75,000. I take here 75,000. Then cash received against the bills receivable rupees 22,500. It must be credited in bills receivable account by cash or bank. It is the cash received against bills rupees 22,500. 22,500 is given. Apart from that, there is a bills receivable dishonored. Whenever there is a bills receivable dishonor, it must be debited to the it must be debited to the debtors account as well as credited to the bills receivable account. Here by bills receivable, bills receivable, it is dishonor, dishonored. So this is the amount rupees 1500. When it is credited to the bills receivable account, it must be debited to the debtors account. Bills 
रिसीवेबल अकाउंट इट इज डिजॉनर्ड डिजॉनर्ड सेम रुपीज वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड देर इज अ बैड डेट्स रुपीज सेवन फिफ्टी अ बैड डेट्स इज अ अमाउंट विच मस्ट बी क्रेडिटेड टू डेटर्स अकाउंट बैड डेट्स बैड डेट्स रुपीज सेवन फिफ्टी सेवन फिफ्टी बैड डेट्स After that, there is a discount allowed to debtors. This is also credited. Discount allowed. Discount allowed to debtors. It is rupees seven fifty. It must be credited to the debtors account. After that, there is a sales returns of rupees three thousand. I'll take sales returns. Sales returns rupees three thousand. so these are the various amounts given in this problem and we must have to consider the other particulars given in this problem here cash everything is entered and the difference first we have to close bills receivable account because the missing in bills receivable account must be transferred to debtors account to calculate total sales so the total amount 22500 23 24 total is 42000 rupees 42000 same must be written debit side the difference rupees 42000 minus 15000 is Twenty-seven thousand. Twenty-seven thousand is the data account. Data account. It is a transferring entry. This is transfer. Transferring entry. This is the new bills. New bills issued. Issued. Sorry, new bills. New bills received. Received. New bills received is the twenty-seven thousand. This amount must be transferred to debtor's account by bills receivable account. Bills receivable account. It is transferred. This is transferred from bills receivable account. It is rupees twenty-seven thousand. After transferring this amount, we must close. the debtors account to find out what will be the closing what will be the clo what will be the credit sales made during the year we must total 75000 26000 27000 28000 and 30000 rupees all are included we have to find out The total comes to rupees one lakh fifty one thousand five hundred. One lakh fifty one thousand five hundred is the total of this. Same must be written one lakh fifty one thousand five hundred. In this, you deduct thirty thousand plus one thousand five hundred. We'll get rupees one lakh twenty thousand. One lakh twenty thousand is the difference. One lakh twenty thousand is the difference. It is as credit sales. So this is balancing figure in this problem. Thank you, Jai Hind.